Let's talk about bots. <laughs> PUBG recently added bots to PUBG console. I don't know why, but, but they have and they're here. Before we get to this video, this video is all on my opinions on these bots. After a week of playing, I gave it a chance. I was for the bots. If you want to see a more balanced review on the bots, check out the Beard Guys video. It's here on the screen somewhere, link in the description. He has a more balanced opinion than me because I'm a heavy, heavy disagreer with these bots. But I thought I'd just make a little video to give my opinions on why these bots are just... It doesn't matter how they're implemented, they're just not very good. Now, first of all, when these bots were first mentioned, lots of people were already negative about them. But if you check out this clip, I was actually fairly positive about them. I thought if they were implemented correctly, they would be very good. But unfortunately, that isn't the case. Now, we're not going to talk about matchmaking regions and the longer matchmaking times will have come because I'm sure they're just an issue, which will be fixed later on. My issue is directly with the bots. So... The first thing, first game I played once I got on, we had 80 bots in our lobby. Obviously, that's an issue. That's going to be fixed down the line. You won't be getting 80 bots in your issue. You'll be looking more at, like, from 0 to 20 bots in your lobby, which is a lot more understandable, and I can see why people won't mind that as much. But for me, even two bots in my game is too much. Now, my first thing, that these bots, these, these do have a good thing. New players can come in, they can play the bots, they can get better, they can progress. Older players who haven't played in a while, they can come play some bots and come in. I don't think they should be in normal lobbies. They could be in the FPP lobby, maybe make that like a training mode because it's a dead lobby on EU. You're not going to get a lobby in, in EU FPP. You couldn't get one before. You had to wait to go to NA. It doesn't matter. FPP should be a bot thing for training. Why not? Like, come in new. Hey, you're new to the game. Would you like to train with bots? Boom, FPP. That's it's console. It's how it should be. I, I, it's it's a dead lobby, any other way. TPP on the other hand, before this update, I could get in a game in five seconds. I'd be loaded in. The plane would already be counting down from thirty seconds till I start in probably a ninety to a hundred player lobbies on any any map at all, and I wouldn't have an issue. So I don't really understand the need to use bots to fill lobbies. And they even released a Reddit post. You can see that in link in description saying the main reason they added bots was for new players to come. So I don't understand this whole new thing where filling lobbies of bots. I would like, I don't need a bot in my lobby. I would rather have 99 people in my lobby than them adding the extra one bot for no, for no reason. It makes zero sense to me why there should be in a bot in the lobby. The second I find a bot and I kill that bot in my head then is right. There's non real players in this lobby. Do I really care as much? And it makes you play funny. I was watching my friend Tiox Nuka. He kills about 15 bots in this lobby. And then he finds a real player. And he just dies because he's not expecting it. They're not made for PUBG. PUBG is a hardcore game. It takes a lot to learn. If you want bots in the game, there should be a separate mode. I really think, like... I know they've got the ranked play mode coming out. But even then, I don't want to sit there queuing for four or five minutes just to play super sweaty games. I'm not playing... It's a Battle Royale game. I'm not... Like, there can be minor match... Um skill-based matchmaking but altogether does that really need to be heavy skill-based matchmaking the people who play PUBG the people who really play PUBG and said so that I joined PUBG only about a year ago I know most of you guys are die-hard fans you've been playing for three years I only played PUBG maybe a year ago I first played it on PS4 it was extremely difficult but I kept playing because the game is every kill every kill I've been playing on the game on PC recently because there's no bots and every kill I get feels really good really good if there's suddenly bots in that lobby and i start killing bots even as a new player i'm gonna be thinking what what is this what am i doing in this lobby killing bots now i know this video is gonna be a bit all over the place because i'm thinking it up as i go which is really unfortunate but new players surely if they want to come in say they want to warm up they'll jump into this fpp bot lobby what i spoke about earlier warm up with bots all right i've had enough now let me go play proper games with real people and they just jump in, you get some good people, you get some bad people, it's cool. So you end up dying a couple of games, you're like, right, I'll go jump in these bot lobbies again. Rather than the hardcore players, and all hardcore players, it's not all of us are the best players in the world. We're not all that good. I've got friends who aren't very good at the game, but they're hardcore players. They play a lot, they play nearly every day, but they still don't get that many kills, they don't get that many wins. And suddenly they're getting six, seven wins a day with these bot field lobbies, and they're, they're losing interest in the game because it's too easy now. 
You don't get enjoyment out of it. You kill someone. Oh, I've killed a bot. Oh, well. Bugger up. Here I go again. I'm going to be calm. We're going to be... We're going to take this gently. The only way I feel like these bots cannot affect the gameplay without the ranked mode. The ranked mode... <laughs> I don't want to... It doesn't make sense. The game was fine before. Nobody asked for these bots. I know you're trying to think of new players. You're trying to bring money in. The best way is to add a separate bot mode. Don't force people to play their bots. There should be no... It should come up. You're struggling with the game. Would you like bots in your lobbies? Yes or no? You know? I could sim I'd simply... If I had to wait now an extra 30 seconds because I didn't want a single bot in my lobby, I would wait that long. I wouldn't mind. There's no need for them. There's no need for this rank... Like the rank mode. People don't want to play the rank mode. They don't want to play super sweaty games every game. So that that's what... That, these are my thoughts. They're not everyone's thoughts. Some people... They're, they're fine for some people. But I just don't feel like they should be in normal lobbies. Um... I don't... We're, the, you can tell that the console is just a little test server for PC. We're literally just testing bots for PC. So that's what it is. But that's my, my general opinion. Bots shouldn't be in the game at all unless they're in the whole a separate playlist or you get the option to disable them. Um, you could also, if you really didn't want to disable them, make it so we knew we killed bots rather than being like, oh, did we kill a bot? Did you kill a bot? Or was that a real player standing there for half an hour? I don't know. Just tell me it was a bot calling bot 50,000 or something with a special logo. That's a bot player. Tell me at the end of the game how many bots I killed. I really don't want to be sitting there thinking, oh, is this a real player? Is this a bot? Is this a real player? Is this a bot? Did I kill a real player? Did I kill a bot? Oh, I, kill I killed. Let me let me look this up afterwards. Oh, it, it was a bot lobby with 80 bots in the lobby. Just let me know. Stop trying to hide the fact. You can still have fun on the game, right? The, the game is still fun. I'm not going to deny it. The game is still fun. You can still go around. But it just doesn't feel the same. You win a game, you've killed maybe three bots here, and the rest are ten, ten other real people. It's still three bots I've killed. I've still killed three pointless things what didn't need to be in the lobby. Get rid of them. Have three less bots in the game, three less people. And I have the ten kills still. They're all real people. I feel much better. They're my opinions. There's not much else to say. I don't care about the matchmaking thing. That's all a different thing. Like the times, the MMR and stuff. This is just about bots in general. Matchmaking times, <sighs> filling bots with lobbies. It's, it's up to them what they want to do with that. That's to prelive their game. But bots don't belong in normal PUBG. No one enjoys killing a bot. I know you want new players to come. There's no point in it. Get rid of them. You'll play PUBG. Bots is the big one. The massive, massive one. Bots. So they're adding a bunch of Binktrons to the game by default. I think it's a good idea. I'm not sure if it is. The, the main thing you've got to think about with this is if they're going to be in all the games. Like, are they going to use, say one game, you play Miramar, 20 people leave, are 20 bots then going to join? I don't know. To make it 100 but people. But can I make a new account and go get a 60 kill, get 60 kill game if I go die in like 10 of them games straight away? <laughs> Go die 10 games straight away on a new account and then go get a 60 kill game on a bunch of really bad bots it puts me with. But would you then put that on YouTube? Yeah, he's gonna know. With, <laughs> with people, like, say you're going about in a game, you're literally walking right behind someone and they're not doing anything. Can't hear you. Sure, they're gonna make not it an option shooting. to have a game with bots or not? Nope, that's gonna be a default thing in the game. Literally going to be a default thing in the game. It's it's apparently based on rank, but also to fill lobbies. So it doesn't really make sense because we see a lot of bots in our lobby. Like not, I'm going to have to call them people, but we see a lot of people bots <laughs> in our lobbies now, like bad That's people. Mean. New players in our lobby. Not so bad if players. we're getting a match with them right now, are we still? That's what I'm thinking. Is it going to be filled with bots? Like like if you choose FPP. And there's literally no one playing. Can you go one v ninety nine bots just because so, you want to play FPP? You, what? Yeah, maybe. Do you think it'll pull FPP servers? Maybe. I mean, that's probably the only way they could do it. Hopefully, you we can't tell their bots. You can't tell their boring. bots. I saw the PUBG community guy, not Andy, the not maybe like the lead NA guy, saying you they are normal names. What is it? Uh, because, I think they announced Oregon? it. I'm I'm pretty sure they announced it's coming to PC. I'm pretty sure they I saw it on Twitter trending. But they're coming to PC as well. Yeah, because PC lobbies aren't 
aren't the N same. NA but... PC, lob PC lobbies are dead. Literally, it's completely dead in NA, this game is. You have to wait really? like four minutes to find a game and they don't even have the search options like you do. Yeah, they don't have map selection at all. So Yeah. If you don't if you're not in the EU, you, you get screwed over on PUBG. It's, PUBG's dying. But new I mean, people come to the game. It is hard. It's tough. If you don't know what PUBG is and you come to the game brand new, you come in a game and like you've probably seen that there's videos about everyone talking and you get shit on, you're not gonna want to play again, but No. I, it's a shooter game. When I come over, I, I want, I'm one of them people who are like good at games, all right? I'm decent, all right? I'm big man Nacho. Boost me up. Um, <laughs> I saw Nuka yeah, play, and I was like, I can be as good as Nuka. We're not there yet. Actually, I did kill him in the tournament. Um, we're, getting that, we're getting there. But if you're not like a hardcore FPS guy or TPP guy or shooter guy, it's hard to get into PUBG. It's a tough game. I've been playing a bit of PC, and if I wasn't, if I didn't know what I was getting into, I probably would have stopped playing because I can't keyboard a mouse or nothing. It's like I'm pretty. The fact that there's no aim assist is obviously the big thing for people. Like when you play COD, you can go on there, laser beam someone across the map without even trying. Then you come on this game and try and do that, say, with an AK. People who don't know how to control the recoil are just going to be put off. So. Yeah. Having these bots in these games will obviously let these people practice like recall control and. I don't know what they're doing, stuff. but will this not elevate new players who need to be to be playing vets? I don't know because bad people are still bad. There's only a certain amount of level you can still like go out and smash. It's not like Agro Beard's now going to go out and pull 15 kill games every other game. <laughs> he could. <laughs> uh, he, he, he could. He could. He could. Yeah, we're, we're, we're looking at... um. If we can host oh. customs... If we can host customs for bots, we're going to do a betting thing on a, a bot stream or something. Bet... Oh, host bots. Do you like bot... Oh, look... You can bet... <laughs> everyone comes in, they bet on a number, and we see which bot wins, and that person wins. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. Bobby, Thank you very much. That's claimed. Yeah. Anyone else who's watched that's claimed. Natural Nuka Show have claimed that. No one else can do it, all right, if that happens. We have just copyrighted that now. Wait, God, is he want doing to waste my time with PUBG? Bot bets. Yeah, bot bets. Yeah, yeah COD is easier. COD that's is a lot. Is, you've got aim assist, and the skill based matchmaking on that game is tight. Very tight. If you go in a new game, if you go in a game and you go kill yourself 10 times, you will be able to, and then start playing properly, you'll annihilate the next lobby. I know there are a lot of gamblers in this community. Uh, I'm oh, going to bot on bot number people? 30. Yeah, but everyone's just going to bet on every bot. So bots, if live, if implemented correctly, I believe will be okay. Like, the vet, it's just... Will you guys who watch PUBG Xbox, like we watch PUBG, will you be watching someone who you know is not as good as normal and seeing them kill bots and thinking, I don't want to watch this, they're killing bots. Do you think it'll hurt the streamers? That's a you, Nuka, as well. I think that'll hurt streamers. If you now go, say, you go in to one of our less good friends at the game, Shut and you sit and you're sitting there watching them kill bots, and you're like, well, that, you'd be like, oh, what's the point? They're killing bots, and they end oh, up getting like eight, and they end up getting like eight, ten kill games all the time now, just because they're killing bots. I wouldn't think that's very good to be fair i'm not i agree you're better you're still better than most people we know agro i'm i'm just playing buddy bully i don't think you're a bot either see the tux tournament which wasn't actually a tux tournament it was a rowan coops tournament tux tournament but, no i'm joking it was a rowan coops tournament yeah, rowan coops tournament Rogue. there's a lot of players in there obviously like most of us who've been playing this for three years since it's come out so it's like, it was going to be hard, no matter what you did. Somehow, I was last place. Yeah, Nuka got last. You guys smacked crazy. him up. You're like, that's fair enough. You're going to have, even people like me, <coughs> are going to have bad games. You know, it's all good. Once we get our little battle bot. So thing, he you woke up, the BIO changed him. He became a monster, did he? He was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to become the next Shroud. Then the next day we get three wins in a row again. 
this time not hit phone. <laughs> right, we'll find out about bots though. Just yeah. we'll see. It depends which lobbies they chuck them in. They're they're going to be either good or bad. 